We've said that phase diagrams tell us about the microstructure, meaning if you looked at this under microstructure and there's multiple phases, how do they come together? What do they look like? Um, let's talk about how we do that. To teach that, we have to introduce something called the lever rule. The lever rule tells us the amount of the different phases present in a two-phase region. So consider this binary isomorphous uh, phase diagram for two different ceramics. You've got forsterite, Mg2SiO4, and phaolite, Fe2SiO4. They're both olivine crystal structure. They just have a different cation, Mg2 versus Fe2. So they have complete solid solubility all the way across. Now if we pick a composition and we start to cool it down, let's say we cool down right here in the middle at 50-50, right? We know that right at this point, as you first cool down to right there, the very first solid starts to form. And we know that the phase diagram can tell us compositions. We've done that. You draw a flat line across this, and you, and you know that the very first olivine composition is at, that uh, looks like about 20 weight percent phaolite and therefore 80 weight percent forsterite. Now you continue down. Let's say you continue down to this point. All right. At that point, you would have the composition right here, maybe like 38 weight percent to me is what that looks like. And the composition of your liquid is now changing as well. Your composition might be something like 71 weight percent phaolite. The question is, at this temperature, how much liquid and how much olivine do we have, right? So this is O plus L, olivine plus liquid. How much, though? What is the weight fraction? So we can use the lever rule to do this. The lever rule goes as follows. You need to figure out the length of the total line from the two end members. So that's this line right here. So it's this full length of the line. You see that? So all the way from 38 to 71. Then you get the fraction of each phase is by figuring out the length of the upper segments. This segment right here and this segment right there. Okay? So the amount of olivine, the weight percent, since this plot is given in weight percent, we're going to calculate the weight fraction of olivine is going to be equal to the purple line divided by the uh, light blue, right? Or in other words, it's going to be equal to the right-hand side, right? Over here, this one on the right-hand side, divided by the total. Or mathematically, this would be, um, if this was initially at 58% the initial composition, then the right-hand side would be 71 minus 50, and then the total length would be 71 minus 38. Let's punch that into our calculator. So 21 divided by 71 minus 38 is 60, 0.636. So the weight fraction is equal to 0 0.636 or 63.6 weight percent olivine. So how much liquid is there? Well, since it's 100% total, you know that 100% minus 63.6 .6 would be the amount of liquid, but we could also calculate it. To do the weight percent liquid, the weight percent liquid would just be the exact opposite. We're going to now take the dark blue divided by the light blue section, right? So it's going to be the left-hand side, the left-hand segment divided by the total. Okay, So that's going to be 50 minus 38, all divided by 71 minus 38. And this equals, punch it in, 50 minus 38 divided by 71 minus 38. I get that that's equal to 36.3, right? or roll it, round it up to 36.4, equals 36.4 weight percent liquid. So you notice the catch here. Over here we had liquid on this side and we had olivine on this side. So when we want to figure out the compound on the left-hand side, that's this one over here, we took the right-hand segment over the total. When we wanted the segment over here on the right, the liquid, we take the left-hand segment over the total. So it's opposite what you think. If you want the one on the right, you take the left-hand segment over the total. If you want the one on the left, you take the right-hand segment over the total. 
That's called the lever rule. Now again, if this was in atomic percent, then we would have calculated the mole or atomic fraction. But since it's in weight percent, we're calculating the weight fraction. Okay, that's how you use the lever rule.